Hi! It has been a long minute. When you are used to stamping nearly almost every day, um, and you take, oh, I don't even remember the last time I made a video. It's been more than a week. And when you take a, an extended break for the holidays, then it just seems like, ah, where's all my stuff? Um, the last time that I did stamp, it was to uh, get together with my um, downline. So I still have several projects that I'm gonna um, make for you from that. Um, and I also have some projects that they made that they brought that I'll show you um, from the upcoming occasions catalog. So this is one that one of my um, girls made. Um, I think the ribbon, purple ribbon is for everything. I think that's what a purple ribbon is for all causes. Um, but this is a real pretty one. And then um, this year, um, Stampin' Up! is focusing on simple stamping. So here's a simple stamping card from one of the new candy sets. And then she also made one with the same set and then added a little bit more to it. So here's some fun new tags, some of the fun new ribbon that I have shown you on one of the um, videos that I've made so far, um, and some of the fun new embellishments. So same stamp set, super simple, and not a whole lot more, but just... Uh, um, has a little bit more added too, um, which I also like, you know, once we switch over from Christmas and fall colors, it's a fun switch. We all switch. So even though this is, um, not candy, I like that the girls chose the same colors. So this, these were, um, trades that we made for each other. I have more than I'll show you in some of the other videos. And the card I'm going to show you today is the trade that I did. I'm going to use the, um, family and friends stamp set. It's a throwback to a stamp set that we had mm, maybe 10 years ago, maybe not, maybe eight, I don't know, where it was pieces. The hairstyles have been updated, um, especially for the guys. I did notice that. Um, and in the past, it also had an accessory set. So maybe we'll get an accessory set. Who knows? And then I'm also going to use um, something that everybody's really been looking forward to is the rectangle, stitched rectangles that will be in the catalog. You can see one of my other projects has a couple of them so there's a few pieces missing this one is the one i'm going to use today on this project um and then there's a couple that you'll see in another video coming up that have been taken off but usually when i get my um dies i rip them all off and run them through the dies so i can see what they do there's no point with these because they all do the same thing they're just different sizes great different sizes and you can run two together and make actual frames or you can make um, panels, there's a lot you'll be able to do with these, but they are stitched, and I'm going to use this one today. So let's get started on the card. What I did do was I used shimmer white cardstock, because you know that's my favorite, um, and I ran my die through first, simply so I knew how much space um, I was doing a little picture frame. This is um, kind of a, it's, it doesn't have to be a guy-based card, but it is more masculine, because you know we're always looking for cards that work to give to some of the men in our lives. So this would be fun if you have um, some kids that could help you color. Because you could make the card or you could even have them help you make the card. It would be charming. When we had this set before, my daughter was younger. She's grown up now, but she was younger at the time. And we actually made Christmas gifts for friends and family where we um, pulled the different stamps and made self-portraits. It was actually back in the days, I think, before there were selfies. Um, and so we stamped the families to kind of look like their families. I will tell you one thing I have learned from using this. It kind of works best if you put your um, die in the middle of your... I'm not sure that this is in screen. In the middle of your thing and kind of at an angle. It cuts a little better. And I think it's also better for your dies over time, too, so they're not getting squished the same way because then you can kind of um, vary the way that they're going. But one pass back and forth is plenty. That's all you need on these. And they pop right out. Of course I say that and now it's not going <laughs> to, there it goes. They stick because of the stitch. You can see um, it would, if I wanted to, I could use this piece, which I'm not going to use. In this case, it's scrap, but it does make the stitched here. Let me show you the back of my card. So you can see if this was cut bigger, then this could also be a piece that you use as a frame. But I'm actually going to use this piece, and that's why they stick in here. And my skin is so dry in the summer that 
when I was making these for my trades. They kind of poke in your in your skin a little bit when your skin's as dry as mine is. So they just pull in there. That's why you don't want to roll them through too many times. Because if you do, then they just really stick in there. So they're nice and stitched. So that's all we need for the big shot on this card. It's a super simple card. And I have, it's not Night of Navy. Maybe it's Night of Navy. I don't even remember if that's one of our colors anymore. It's our darkest blue. Somebody can comment and tell me if we have Night of Navy. I told you it's been a minute since I stamped on it and remember what our colors are. I think we have, I don't know, do we have Night of Navy? I think from this far away I can't see. I know it's, I don't think it's blueberry. But that's the base of my card. And then I have, um, this is just from our wood designer series paper. That's the six by six stack. So nothing new with that. Again, I'm just going kind of for the guy look. So I'm gonna add this here. This card was cut um, long ways, so it'll open long ways. So just put that on there. And then the fun of this, I'm gonna sit down now so my voice is gonna change a little bit. Um, the fun of this is just kind of putting your family together. So I did find, because um, you know I worked with this for a minute, because when you make trades you make a lot of them, that it worked best to kind of work from the um, out in or the center up. The first time I did it, I stamped it, and then there was not a rectangle that really fit. So then that was when I discovered it was kind of best to work with the size of the card that I had and then backwards. Um, and there's babies. Um, so I went with our family a few years ago. Because, you know, my daughter's grown. But I didn't want to put three adults on the card. Because that's no fun. So for this particular card, it's just um, a family. It's a generic family. I should have pulled the ones I wanted. So here's the mom. So I'm going to go with her first. Because she just happens to be in the middle of my card. And to get the dad on here, he's tall. That was the other thing when I did it first. Um, I realized his head was going to come off. So I needed to, I'm going to lay the ones I've used over here so it can kind of narrow down my... Um, so there was not a rectangle that fit the family if I did the dad all the way on. So his feet need to come a little bit off so his head will stay on, but that's okay. We don't need to see all of his shoes. And then there's a couple of different children's outfits. There's a little dress. There's a little pants. So they can be girls. They can be boys. I may have to take my glasses off. If I see better without my glasses on close up. So I did some of them with the little dress. And then some with the little pantsuit. Which could be for girls or boys. Um... Just because I want, you know, when you're making a lot of them, you get tired of coloring the same thing over and over. So there I've got my bodies. And then there are some pets. So there's a little dog. And there's also a little cat. You know, so if I was doing our current family, you know, back in the day I would have had to do two cats and, I mean, two dogs and three cats. If this was really the age when my daughter was this size. So that would have been a long rectangle. We don't even have a dog, and it would have been two cats. So I would have had to use the mirror technique. So, you know, just kind of going with what's fun to color. So then you do um, the heads, and the, they've got some chins. So I found it was best to start with the dad. I'm going to switch to a smaller block. Because he actually has, the one I'm going for, it does kind of look like my husband. Because he has a beard. Some other heads are going to be a little squished because I'm not putting my head in the camera. Um, and then with the girls, I went with the hair. And then I added the hair. And, you know, depending on the day, I can have curly or I can have straight. So I did both on my trades just because I was, again, the coloring thing and kind of seeing which one I like to work with. The sample I'm going to show you at the end is my straight hair. This is more my curly depending on how much I used my curling iron. 
She's a little crooked. I'm tilting. And then with the little girl, again, there's um, different sizes, different kinds of hair. There's some ponytails, there's some straight hair. Um, my daughter always had long hair. But there isn't really a long hair on here. There's a little bun, which I did do on some of them, um, that you can add a bow to. I'm gonna do one of the little short hairs on this one. On the other one, she has the pigtail ones. I'm just gonna show you a different one on here so it comes a little different. And you can see their head, their hair is kind of overlapping, um, but that's okay. And then let's go with the dad hair. This one's kind of my husband's hair now. You know, guys are so lucky, their hair grows so fast. So this is him, you know, four weeks when he thinks his hair's really long and he needs to go get it cut again. So there we go. Most of the men faces come with eyes. The girls, you have to add them too. So we'll add the girl faces. And I am just going to, I don't like that one as much. I'm gonna add the same face. You know my daughter looks a little bit like me. My dad told her if she started parting the hair on the same side, we would look alike. So she said she wasn't gonna part it on my side. And I said, well, I could switch to her side. So for these, I'm just gonna use the same. There's some different eyes. And then there is some chins, which the first time I did it, I didn't know. Here, let me show you what I mean. See, there's this chin and there's this chin. And the first few cards, I didn't realize that there is a grown up and there is a child. So this is the child, because it's smaller. And this one, I really need to kind of put my head up there. Well, it's not terrible, but it adds the ears. And if you, the first card I made, I thought, well, the girls kind of don't have ears. And then I realized it's because they're connected to their chins. So you do need to add that little bit. And these are simple enough that kids could do them. Um, in fact, some of mine looked more like kids had done them than others. See that? It makes her look a little better. And then the rest of it's just adding some fun accessories to their clothes. And there's not a ton. Um, on my swaps, my little girl wore the glasses because my daughter wears glasses as well. But on this one, I'm going to add the glasses to me, maybe, because you know, I'm going to squish this down a second. There, now I've got my glasses on. There's some stripes for the dresses. It's kind of crooked. I'm just, um, maybe I've had a bit too much to drink from the holidays on this little card here. Some buttons for my daughter's dress. And they're really my favorite accessory. There's some bows. I should have done the bows for hers. Maybe I'll go back and add those. But my favorite one is this little one for the guy. You know, he goes from being super cash and then you can give him a little sweater or you can color it to be a suit, kind of however you want to color it. So I'm going to stop there. You can see there's a, that's how many pieces I've used. The ones along here, except for the one that I took out that I didn't like. And then there's this many pieces left, except for the words. Let me pull the words out while I have the ink pad. This is a piece of soft sea foam. Um, and there are words that come in the set. They're little words. So I want the one that says happy birthday. This one, go back to this stamp pad, I mean block. And I just want it close to the top. So I have a happy birthday. And then there's one that says from all of us. Then you can also do a, maybe there's a warm welcome and a congratulations, something like that but then they can all say from all of us. So you could do it from your coworkers, you could do it from families, you could do it from roommates. It would be fun. Um, like my daughter when she lived with her golf girlfriends or you know, if you have a group of similar aged people, you could do it that way too. Oh. My um, daughter borrowed some of my blends and they are not 
I, they're still with her stuff and I meant to grab them before I did it. So my um, people have a bit of a, a glow because I have my dark petal pink and I really wanted my light one and I should have grabbed them. So if you don't have the right color, then what you do is you barely brush the color on. So this is dark petal pink. So just kind of barely brush this on. The light petal pink would be a little bit better of a skin tone. Not quite such an orange glow. But you know, sometimes when our kids borrow our stuff, we don't get it back right away. And then to kind of tone it down a bit, I'm gonna take the ivory, which is also can be a skin tone. And we'll pretend this is me after I've been in the um, pool over the summer. It's gonna kind of darken it up. And you don't want this, um, the style of it. I mean, you could sit here and really color it with the blends, but the style goes more for, um, you know, it's quirky, it's kitty, it's a kid style. And I don't also have my sea foam, so apparently somebody has borrowed those. Like I said, they've been sitting here for a minute and people have stamps that haven't been me, but they're here. Um, well, this isn't my sea foam. This is my mint macaron. So it's going to not quite match to the background. Uh, no, that's sea foam. So we're going to go with some different colors than what I did on my original one. But you know, you work with what you have. And again, I didn't do, this is not, um, this is my light. So the family's nice and color coordinated. They're all Insta-worthy here. Give her some dots. Give her her shoes. I won't give dad green shoes. Although there are some people in um, my immediate circle who do like green clothes that are men. Maybe a green shirt. But you don't want to spend a ton of time. Um, and like I said, it would be super fun and super cute to, if you have kids to just let them color this in. It would be fun for a grandpa card or an aunt or an uncle. This one is, is this a new color? We have two new colors coming up in the pool party now. I think this one might be a new color. Oh, Night of Navy. I guess we do have Night of Navy. So that was my card stock was Night of Navy. How bad is that that I can't even remember what colors of blues we have? You know, the color change hits and who knows. Well, that's enough Night of Navy. My other card had a bit more. Let's do some hair. Dark crumb cake. You know, we are a family of brunettes most of the time. My daughter's currently blonde. My husband sometimes, depending on the light, can be more gray. I could give him a gray beard, but you know, this is a throwback, so we'll do some throwback hair. This is, I'll leave these out because these are also for my animals. And this is soft suede. Add some shoe color. I'm just using this over here for, um, and then I'm going to do a tabby cap. So just kind of do some color there. I have more colors that I'm going to use here because, um, on my other cards. Sometimes, like I said, she had on a pantsuit so there was more to color and on some bows so there were a few more colors that you can add if you want to, but I am gonna pull a pink and just give a little bit of rosiness to our cheeks. Again, it's cartoony so you don't have to do a ton of blends. And the last thing we have is our little dog. And he's going to be gray. This one is actually um, Dark Smoky Slate. I'm going to kind of model him around. That's as artistic as you're going to get on this card. I think this one's black. Yep, light basic black. I'm going to 
take this, which is my color lifter. I kind of blend my dog and my cat just to kind of so they're not literally spot. Um, this one already kind of blended. And just kind of do the same with the hair so it kind of lifts some of the color out. It does some of the blending for you without having to spend a ton of time. There we go. My neck's a little I'm double chinned, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Pretty bad, pretty, I mean, not bad for um, not being able to see. So then, because it's a guy card, I didn't want to add any, really any ribbon. It could be, you could do, switch the colors up, maybe add some fun ribbon and make a card for Grandma, because I'm sure she'd like it too. Or, you know, if, if you have little girls, um, they could do all their best friends and make a fun, you know, if they have a little group of girls to hang out at school. But this, because I was going for a more masculine look, I just added, this is Night of Navy, which now I know is the color, um, twine from the annual catalog. And it gives just... It gives a little something to the card without making it, um, it still keeps the masculine feel to it. I'll just give it a little knot. And it's nice to always have twine. I will tell you, um, I hope to get this up before the end of the year. And right now on the clearance corner, there is a ton of um, ribbon, or there still was. The first day I got tons because last year I was sick. Um, I got the flu. We went to see the Pacers play my entire family. I think it was the day after Christmas. And maybe like the 27th. And I did not, I got the flu. And I was not well then again until January 7th. I only know because we had a, our first um, stamping event. Um, and I thought I was really kind of still too sick to go. But I did go. Um, and that was the first day out. So... January or December 27th to January 7th 27th to the 7th that was a long time to be out and I missed all of the after Christmas whatever so this year I had to buy um, ribbon and wrapping paper and everything full price before the holiday I've already gone out this time and bought it um, but when you buy ribbon full price let me just tell you to wrap on packages stamping up ribbon is way cheaper and so when this clearance corner went on sale I got a ton of it so here's my two families you can see um, they're a little bit different. The, the women are different. I really liked my guy the way he was, so I kept my guy. They, the animals are colored different, um, but the girls have different hair, um, different color. It's a super fun set. It would also just be fun to keep on hand for your kids um, or your grandkids or your nieces and nephews if they come over to stamp with you. They could just play. It'd be fun to play with, um, and they could just play with it. So... There you go. I'm going to have um, a bunch of fun videos coming up to show you all of the new stuff that's coming in the Occasions catalog. This won't be a camp project, um, but I will have some coming up. And I also have a project coming up that will be my um, online class, my free online class. So don't buy um, that stamp set from anybody else if you want to do my online class. Get ready to have a great 2019. Bye.